welcome to fall all right it sure doesn't feel like fall it's like uh 80 degrees fahrenheit You're supposed to get up about 83 and stuff like that tell you what i'm so ready for the uh brisk to cool to cold or something but uh i got a feeling here not too long it's uh gonna start changing rat radically i mean you can take a look at the uh canopy and the the color of the leaves is starting to change up just wish the uh, temperature would come with it all right you can see the kiwi vine here it's still growing and spreading out so we'll see uh how this thing does over the winter and stuff this is coming up on year three i guess for it and let's see yeah looking healthy yeah. my project to uh, dismantle these pallets is ongoing and uh we're working on yet another uh raised bed planter this one is a little bit smaller in dimensions but it's uh, a bit deeper and i'm designing this one so we can ac accommodate tomato plants and stuff but there it is and uh we need to get the bottom in it all right let's take a look at the grapevines here and they're about ready to slide into hibernation and here's a pear tree apricot tree peach peach figs Plum. All right. A cherry tree, apple tree, methyl plum, and here's those two raised beds that uh, we put together the other weeks, and you can see how uh, fast everything is growing. And it looks like we're gonna need some more seven dust up in here, like somebody's munching on some leaves and stuff. But, these are Brussels sprouts. We got romaine lettuce, and some kale, uh, collard plants, um, cauliflower, broccoli, more Brussels sprouts, and, and collards over there. But we'll sprinkle her down with some more of that seven dust here and make sure that the Check the underside of the leaves, see whether you see any evidence of bug infestation. But, ah, see, look at that. Yep. Anyway, always something. But, uh, that's why we guard, right? All right, gooseberries. This one of these uh, pink lemonade blueberries. Okay. And you can see the uh, leaf color on this uh, Mathley plum definitely changing up. And this over here is a giant Asian pear, and it is really putting on the growth spurt. I predict it doesn't maybe a year or two it'll really produce out. All right, but we're trying a pretty cool little assignment here. Or experiment, I guess I should say. You'll see that trail cam right there. All right. I've got it set up where it turns on from 11 a.m. till noon every day. And it takes a picture or a little five second video across this area right here and up into the tree canopy. It'll reflect the, the changing of the color of the leaves. Um, how, how the leaf drop occurs and the changing of the seasons and the angle of the sun. So it ought to be pretty interesting. We're going to let it run all the way to, uh, I started, I think, about the 1st of September. And we'll probably let it run to like December 31st and see how things change up. But over the next, uh, few days I'm sure hoping that the cold weather will soon come and we're gonna build uh, during the winter time a bunch of these 
Ain't no sense of letting all this old wood that's been sitting here for all this time go to waste. Make use of it. Here's my little junk pile here where we find little pieces that we need and stuff. And all right, we're working on a little bit of a spoon uh, project on this uh, log here. But as you can see, it is cloudy. It's very humid, and it's about 80 Fahrenheit. All right, here's that trail cam, and basically it's, you know, seeing about like this angle here. You know, each day the sun is a, a slightly different angle, and the seasons change, and the rotation of the earth, and all that stuff, and then you'll start noticing how the leaf color will change, and then leaf uh, drop will occur, and, and there's some days there won't be any sunlight at all. We shall see. All right, everybody. Y'all have a great day and happy fall.